So let's say I wanted to remove my logical volume. Now, first thing you need to be aware of is that this is a destructive process. So typically the only time you're gonna remove a logical volume is if you're done storing data there. And ideally you take any data that you wanted, you move it somewhere else because it doesn't really prompt you, it just does it, it kills the data. You might also do it if you are going to take those drives out of the system, repurpose them somewhere else, maybe repurpose the system, uh, the system itself or something else. Um, you might also do it if you're like moving the, um, let's say you're moving the sales files from this server to another server, and then you want to create a different volume group with a different name. All right, so this would be some reasons why you would want to do that. But always remember, this is a destructive process. So if you do this, you need to make sure that you have uh, the data that you want it backed up. Now, the command to remove the volume group. So we created the physical volumes and the volume group, then the logical volume. So we're going to disassemble it the, in the reverse sequence. So we're going to start out with LV remove, which is logical volume remove. And then we're going to specify the volume that we want. In this case, VG dash sales forward slash LV dash sales. Now at this point, it's going to tell me that I can't do that. And that's because it's in use. So if I do a DF dash H, which will show me if it's mounted. And right here, I can see that that is mounted to the MNT sales folder. So remember, it's a destructive process and the system won't let you destroy something while it's currently in use. So to get rid of it, we just unmount. Now, remember that I'm also doing all of this as root, right? So if you're not as root, you're going to have to use sudo in order to do it. So I'm going to unmount forward slash MNT forward slash sales. That takes it down. And when I do DF dash H, you'll see it's no longer listed here. Now I should be able to LV remove, so logical volume remove, VG dash sales forward slash LV dash sales. And remember, I did the VG to and the LV to just identify this as a volume group and a logical volume rather than physical. Now here it does prompt me, do you want to remove and discard all active logical volumes? That's going to get rid of them. So I hit yes, and my logical volumes are gone. So if I do an LV display, let's try that again. LV display, we'll see that I still have my Ubuntu one, but I no longer have my LV dash sales. So now let's say I want to go ahead and remove my volume group. And it could be because, you know, again, I want to create a new volume group with a new name, or I'm just done and I'm repurposing all of these things. So kind of the same thing is VG remove, and then I just put the volume group VG dash sales. And that says my volume group was successfully removed. So if I do a VG display now, it's going to show me my Ubuntu volume group, but my VG sales is gone. Now at this point, if I do a PV display to display my physical volumes, it'll show that I still have physical volumes. So dev SDC, dev SDD, but notice they are no longer associated with a volume group. So if I wanted to remove those from being physical volumes for LVM so I can do something else with it, Kind of the same thing that we've been doing. It's PV remove dev SDC. It's going to say labels was removed and same thing on SDD. And now if I do a PV display, you'll see that my physical volumes have been removed. Now my devices are still there, right? If I do an LSBLK to list my block devices, you'll see I still have SDC and SDD. They're still here, but they're no longer identified as physical volumes for use with logical volume management. So if you ever need to take down your logical volume management LVM uh, structure, this is how you do it.